What's up, Rockstars? How's it going? I'm super excited to talk to you guys about Celestial. Now, I've done this several times in the past, but I have some concrete data. As you know, they're getting ready. They're getting prepped to actually have this on Kickstarter. I'll be showing it off as soon as I can. I'll be talking about it as soon as I can. But for now, I have some info that's going to put this on your radar. I almost guarantee it. As always, a huge shout out to my patrons and YouTube members. It is through their financial support that this channel is possible. This video, videos just like this would not be a thing without them. I'm able to focus on the things I want to do. Nobody else is really talking about Celestial. They certainly haven't been doing it for three years like I have. And that's because I follow my passions and I'm able to do that freely because of them and the independence that they provide. So thank you so much to them. If you would like to help support, there is a link down below. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. And now with that, let's also thank my sponsor for today, Ace Defender. You guys, I have talked about this before. As you know, I actually really enjoy this game. You're going to see some footage on the screen here. I'm around level 45 at the time. That's not fake. That is me. I've actually played it that much. I very much enjoy it. And that's because it has so much. I mean, there's like 40 plus chapters, like 200 plus levels. It's ridiculous. I don't think anybody's played it all. 48 heroes and they keep adding more and they all work different or do interesting things, which is kind of cool. Once you really get into it, especially the higher levels, you realize like different people isn't, it's not just power level. They have like different skills that they can do that some are more beneficial than others. Typically people who that like freeze or daze and stuff like that are really nice. Very, very cool. They have the PVE, they have PVP, the several different modes. Uh, you can actually speed up time up to 4X or even uh, like auto complete stuff. So they don't, they're not wasting your time, which is wonderful as well. They have a new hero, Brenda. She looks super cool. She's like Brenda the Demon Spear or something like that. I'm working towards her. You actually get her by getting through uh, World 12. I am in the process of beating World 9, so I'm close. I'm definitely gaining uh, power very steadily right now. I'm definitely getting up there. There's a ton of stuff to get a ton of resources, so I'm excited to use her. She looks awesome. It looks like she deals a whole bunch of damage in PvE and PvP, and it just it just looks great. So definitely, definitely cool. She also has some health recovery, which is super helpful. Now, there is a realm of deities. They keep adding game modes. This is super cool. I'm excited to see this. Um, and this one, there is actually like a new world that you're able to do and you can like build up your castle, develop technologies, train soldiers to, to like conquer other like areas around it. It just looks super, super cool. Can't wait to do that. It looks awesome. So that's going to be releasing soon. And, and... Um, of course, new users who download the game, they're going to get 10 row recruit tickets after completing chapter two, level eight. Guys, you're going to do that in your first sitting because the game is just that much fun. There's a link down below. Go ahead and get that link down below. It helps the channel out. And I think you'll have a blast with it just like I have. And a lot of my patrons actually too, we're all playing this together. It's actually quite a lot of fun. And yeah, no, it's a good one. They don't throw ads at you or any crap like that. It's actually pretty darn nice. And with that, let's talk about Celestial. Now, I'm just going to kind of be going through the information I have and we'll formula, once I actually kind of get my hands on it and stuff like that and really get into the meat and potatoes, I might do a super focused, detailed video. But for now, this is just going to be talking about some of the new information that I have. So first of all, first of all, there are nearly 100 models in this game. It's going to look fantastic. Uh, that there's a big variety of them and I'm really excited about that. They are going to be made in hips. So as an FYI, they're going to look beautiful. Now you will need to assemble these yourselves and that's mostly mostly based on the size of them and of course the quality and the fact that they're hips and stuff like that. So this is definitely a miniature focused game that has beautiful minis, very detailed minis and a high quality plastic that you'll have to build. And again, some of them are so big they wouldn't fit in the box anyway, 
That's why. So you're going to need a storage solution for it too. There are 51 models just in episode one, The Hidden Void, and they're going to be having two episodes out at first. I'll talk more about what everything they're going to be including and stuff like that, but um, that's coming just later this year. Uh, so like towards the middle of the year, hopefully normally things get pushed back. So expect it kind of towards the back half of the middle. That'd be my guess right now. Either way, there's going to be a lot there. Okay. So they are going to have kind of like a, a lore book uh, that uh, introduces you to the world and stuff like that. You're essentially, it's like the world of celestials are broken into four different factions and they're all bickering amongst each other. And there's like some, some, you know, they're like their leaders missing and there's, there's political plays and stuff like that. People have described it to me as Game of Thrones, but like with like some sci-fi and then Chinese mythology all mixed up into one. And honestly, I agree. Everything that I've read, and I've read a lot of O'Brien's wrote, um, just uh, um, looks looks and sounds awesome. So very excited about that. Now the Celestial game will actually be a series of core game boxes uh, that kind of follow important plot points. So there's kind of the story that it's going through. Um, there will also be products like unit expansion packs, terrain packs, stuff like that. So I'm already excited because they mentioned terrain and I'm a very big sucker for terrain. Um, but the, the, um, the, the unit packs to kind of add variety and stuff like that sound awesome as well. Now, again, the, the campaign will be focusing on two episodes, episode one, the hidden void and episode two, the dark origin. Now, there are actually three game modes. This is huge. There's the small kind of scale warfare. There's skill development. There's role playing. All of that kind of mixed in. The closest I could describe it from what I can from reading is it's like Mythic Battles Pantheon. If you know that, then Mythic Battles Pantheon has open, you know, recruit skirmish. It also has scenario based one offs. It also has like scenario based campaigns. And then it also has like fully fledged campaigns where you're, you're actually, you know, gaining units and making decisions and doing stuff like that. It has a wide variety just like that. So there is the classic mode or scenario mode. This will have solo. It'll have co-op and it'll have skirmish. Yes, that's right. I will repeat that for you. Solo, co-op and skirmish. I originally just thought this was a skirmish game. Nope co-op and even solo this is for one to three players and they estimate it'll be about 60 to 90 minutes and this one you'll actually go through um like pre-designed scenario missions uh that you can kind of uh, play through that'll be very story focused they also have what they call a challenge mode this is for one to two players it's it's a little bit more tighter so it doesn't have that like three player thing multiple difficulty levels um, it's specially designed with more terrain in mind. The closest I could think of here is actually Monster Apocalypse. I played a version of Monster Apocalypse, a prototype that was very kind of dumbed down. It had, it had some buildings and some units, but you can add more and really have a more advanced mode to it. There's a few other skirmish games like this that have like an advanced mode that, uh, is a little bit more competitive that you can think of this as that one. That being said, solo co-op. There is actually no skirmish in this. This is just a challenging, um, you know, like, like solo co-op. In other words, you're fighting against this enemy and it can be very, very hard. Again, fascinating, unique, definitely is earning a spot in my shelf, different than other options I have. And then there's still the skirmish mode PVP. This is two to four players. 30 to 60 minutes. It's a tight game. In fact, they're even advertising as that. that essentially, it's a compact skirmish battle. So there'll be more players, but it'll be very hectic by the sounds of it. If it's 30 to 60 minutes, that is quick. I'm assuming two players, 30 minutes, four players, 60 minutes. I don't know exactly how on point those times are, but my goodness, that is crazy. Now, why am I not certain about the signs? Because I think at first it's going to take longer. Listen to this. Combat units are really important. They have 10 skills each. Each unit has 10 skills, forming a huge skill development tree where you can actually like um, uh, pick, pick and choose what skills they have. So they don't necessarily all have the 10 available all the time. And so you get to kind of customize and, and introduce them that way. Sounds super duper cool there. Very excited about that. They describe one of the characters, um, Witchian. 
or we, I, I'm, I'm sure I'm saying the name wrong. And he he's, has like this candle thing that he can actually use that like buff and debuff units and, and uh, do like area of effect things and stuff like that. So it's super cool. And then you can spec into like enhances debuffs and, and whatnot. Sounds awesome. So, so I will be getting this soon. I'll be showing it off soon. You will learn more soon, but I thought that was huge. We kind of already knew about the hips and the storage and the skirmish, but I had no idea about the um, narrative version of it. I had no idea about the co-op and solo. That's huge. How quick it says to play. And uh, yeah, it just it just sounds awesome. Over 100 models. In fact, the episode one has 51 models in it. So the Hidden Void is 51 models alone. That is massive. Other great news, by the way, is if you wanted to back something with confidence, this is looking a lot like Senko here where they are actually prepaying for a lot of it. So there are eight molds that they need and they have already paid for them. And in fact, the factory has already completed six of them. If you don't know, molds for miniatures cost thousands each. It's the, one of the biggest single investments a board game company needs to actually make their game a reality. And they are already paying it forward and prepaid for a lot of this to get the ball rolling on this. So part of that's because it's been in development for so long, but really it allows me to see something as expansive and as big as this and still feel quite confident because they've already kind of invested into it and are already kind of on their way to making this a final production quality piece early. And that's awesome. So yeah, color me excited. This sounds super cool and I will share more soon. Guys, if you want to see more celestial coverage or if you just appreciate the fact that I I just follow my whims of what I'm excited about and you want to see what the future holds for us, what the next excitement will be, then there is that subscribe button as well. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you guys again really soon. Bye guys.